Alright, hey guys, uh, in this tutorial, we are going to cover the third page of events and probably not anything else because I'm trying to keep it separate and we never have any time, anyways. Uh, there's been three before this, uh, we've covered everything, everything basic, uh, the first page of events and second page of events, so uh, click my name and you can go check those out if you need it, anything before the third page of events, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, third page of events, uh, battle processing. This is uh, where you initiate a battle, like say a boss battle and you're forced to fight someone. Uh, this is just where you would do that and you can't just pick a monster by itself uh, and I'll show you that in just a second uh, if, check if you can escape or not uh, continue even when loser etc etc and you can pick a monster by itself but the way you have to do it like you couldn't you're not picking from this list right here of one monster people you're going to troops and these are the things you can challenge so if you want to fight just one monster that's like a boss you change maximum to 33 uh, name it whatever say the name of your boss is Bob then uh, you pick which monster you want to add like you can also make your own monsters you can download pictures of them or just pick ones that aren't in there already, already. but let's say we're gonna fight a Diablo so you add it and there it is so now you click apply his name is Bob. Now, if you want to start a battle, battle processing, you find Bob and click OK, and it will start a battle with Bob. Alright, uh, the second one, shop processing. Uh, basically, just opens up a shop. I mean, simple as that. You can buy items, weapons, armors, uh, just any goods that they can have, as they say. Uh, name input processing. This is where if you are allowed to change the names of your characters, like if I were to pick this right here, name input processing, as soon as it would start it would uh, ask me to change the name of the character and the default would be Brett, but I could name it to like George or something. Uh, max characters I recommend is something bigger than 6 because that's way small, usually mine's around 12, it fits the screen and everything. Uh, change HP, uh, change it your entire party or just one actor or uh, you can increase, decrease their HP, allow knockout in battle. And now, I'm not sure if that changes it for good or if it changes it just for uh, a battle. I'm pretty sure it's for good, it changes it for good. Uh, same thing with SP, change your SP, same thing as HP. Uh, change state, pick your entire party or just a certain actor. Or if you want like more than one actor but not the entire party, you just like click Brett and then you do it again. Change state and pick someone else and do it. Uh, you can, the states are knockout, stun, venom, dazzle, mute, confuse, sleep, paralyze, weaken, clumsy, delay, feeble, sharp, barrier, resist, and blink. You can also, in the database, you can add more if you want. That's the cool thing about RPG makers. You can make everything. Everything is editable. You can change it. It's quite nice. Anyways, uh, recover all. Uh, change just recovers your entire stats. It's good for like a healing well or something. Uh, just ideas you could use it for entire party, one actor. Change experience, change level, change parameters of the experience curve, change skills. I mean, it's all pretty self explanatory. Uh, change equipment, change actor name, actor class, actor graphic, change enemy HP. Uh, this is if you want to change the entire troop or just one enemy, uh, but it's the same thing as your party, SP, state, enemy recover all, enemy appearance, enemy transform. Uh, show battle animation, this is more used for like when you edit, the, we'll get into this when we talk about switches. Uh, this is, shows a battle animation in battle, like if you say an enemy is charging up some kind of wicked attack you would just show an animation on it or say someone comes in and rescues you and shoots them down or something like that you know. uh, deal damage to an enemy actor by how much force action battler action action target timing etc etc that's also for battles and switches abort battle uh, stop the battle call menu screen which brings up your menu which has like all your stats items etc it's good for like tutorials in game like you know in Final Fantasy how they 
just automatically bring up a screen and teach you how to use Aeons and stuff like that. Uh, call save screen, good for save points, uh, game over, automatic game over, game over, return to title screen, and script. Script is script, basically. You can write anything that you know how to code. And uh, I know it's pretty short, but that's it for page save events, so join us next time for, I don't know, something. Just check it out. I'll figure it out later.